What's up? It's your boy Shotgun Gabe reminding you guys that if I can do it, you can do it. Three quick tips because AMC is exploding and you don't need to lose any extra money than you have to. You can make a lot right now. So check this out real quick. Three, two, one. All right, let's look at the chart. Let's check this thing out, and then I'm going to do some explaining. You guys ready? Okay, so this thing has been looking amazing today. I was showing you guys on another video I made earlier. I have 20 positions on Ally account. That's just going to sit there. This is I trade in and out real quick on this account. But uh, I had a few more positions earlier. As you guys can see, I slowly been selling them as it goes up and up and up. And I just want you guys to know, I mean, look at the chart right here. Look at how much volume it is. Look at how quick it goes up and down. It's in parallel to the RSI, so make sure you guys are paying attention to the RSI when you guys are trading and selling. See right here on the bottom? So, let's talk about this real quick. Okay, first tip is average in and out. If the stock's at $11 a share and you buy one and it happens to drop to $10, you lose a dollar. If you buy three and it drops, you lose $3. So if you buy in a share at 11 and it drops to 10, you buy another one. It drops down to nine, you buy another one. When it turns around and goes up, not only did you get these cheaper, you weren't losing as much money on the way down, but when it turns around, you're gonna be making three times as much money on the upswing, right? So always make sure you're averaging. Don't put all your eggs in one basket in case it drops really quick. Once it gets to the breaking point to when you're green, we're all saying, hold on, don't sell, don't sell, but we're just some strangers on the internet, and at the end of the day, what matters is that you make money. So, once you get green, if you decide, hey, I got 10 shares and I've really been hurting and I need some money lately or I wanna dump some in the other stock or this could turn around real quick, don't be afraid to share, sell a share or two. Handle that. It's more important for you to feed your family and to make money than to make friends on the internet or everybody to give you a pat on the jack saying, yeah, hold, hold, hold. We're all trying to hold because if there's less of something, it becomes more valuable. So we're pushing the price up more. But some people are eventually gonna sell. There's gonna be scalpers and short sellers and people that are trading off this really quick and it might drop quick. So make sure you cover your own butt at the end of the day. Hold on with this if you're holding, but don't be afraid to sell a share or two, you know? Um, don't be afraid to sell. Sell a few as it goes up. Sell a few more as it goes up. Sell a few more as it goes up. Okay, I made some good money. Now I wanna hold on to the rest of them to help push the price up. Volatility, number two, volatility. Something goes up like a rubber band. The more tension you put on it, the more it's gonna snap back. So pay attention to volatility and those times. It's gonna be the end of the trading day pretty quick in about an hour. At the close of market, everybody's trying to jump in or out, it shoots up or down. As soon as pre-market starts, it jumps in or out. As soon as post-market stops, it jumps in or out. Right here about 4.30, 4.45, it should jump up or down really good. Use these opportunities, if it shoots up, sell what you need to sell and then stay in the game. If it drops down, lower your position so you're not losing as much money. When it turns around, you make a little bit more. Number three, if you happen to get stuck in the red and this drops really quick and you have a bunch of shares, don't sell. You don't lose any money until you sell. That's just what I would do. I'm not telling you not to sell. I'm telling you that you only lose money if you sell. So if this thing turns around and it's $1 tomorrow and my position seven, to, I got 10 shares, 20 shares, 100 shares at $7 each and it drops down to one, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna buy a bunch of more shares. That's gonna bring my position down and then as this thing starts to go up, I'll bring my position down and down. Eventually, it's going to break even. Stocks always go up and down. So if I have to keep buying at $1, I'm going to keep buying at $1 until my position's so low that all this thing has to do is go up 50 cents and I make a profit. I told you guys in the videos before, that's how you do it. I got my position all the way down to $7. Finally, I broke even and I'm making good money today. So I sold off a few shares. I'm holding on to the rest to help push this up. 